Hi guys, I have something very concerning to talk about, so let's get into this video. Hi guys, I am coming to you with another video. I know it's been a while and you know, I, oh my goodness, with this coronavirus stuff going around, it has been like a bit much and I'm sure you guys are feeling it as well, you know, staying quarantined and just not getting out. And if you are getting out, you're getting out for the wrong reasons. Let me tell you why. I just feel like we have to make sure that we are careful, that we are practicing social distancing. We have to make sure we have our mask on because things are still, I mean, this virus is still out there. I mean, I was just looking at the governor of New York, he was saying that 900 people a day of new cases of this coronavirus has been happening daily, a day, 900 people. And people travel, like you could not even have the symptoms of the virus and have the virus. Like, so the reason why I'm bringing this to everyone's attention is because, you know, I'm from California and I noticed in California, um, the beaches, I mean, Seal Beach was open. And on that beach, it was so many people. It looked like thousands of people on the beach. And they were not practicing social distancing. They did not have a mask on. What is going on? Like this virus is still out there. And I know like a lot of people, they see it as a conspiracy. They think that it's a conspiracy. It's not something that's real. It's just something that's just to scare people and that's it. But can you explain the bodies that we've been seeing on television? I know, I know what you're gonna say. Social media is only showing us that, but it's not real. I don't want to hear it. It's so many deaths in this world. It's too many people who have died state by state, state by state, and in these countries. You know, that is too many people, guys. It's a million people now who has the coronavirus. You know, I just don't get it. Where's the conspiracy? There's no conspiracy. But if you go out there and you're protesting, I think it's ridiculous to protest. Why would you be protesting when the virus is still out there? You could get it. You could spread it to your families. There's no practicing social distancing or anything. I don't get that. You're not putting on a mask. I just don't get it. So now I got a call from a friend of mine who wanted to tell me that in Atlanta, Georgia, because you know Atlanta, Georgia opened up stores and things like that that um, so many people was going to this store to get Jordans. Yeah, Jordans. And then they weren't even practicing social distancing. They were not, I just don't understand. I heard that there was no mask on a lot of folks. I don't get it. Why aren't you guys caring about your health? Why aren't you guys caring about this virus that, that is still out there? There's different strings of this virus. You know, you can have it and don't even know you have it. You can stand next to someone and they may not even look sick, but they have that virus. And then it spreads to you and then it spreads to your families and to your friends and things like that. I don't understand why you guys are not concerned. Like, you're so, oh my goodness, you are so ready to get out there and just be amongst the crowd of people. You're so ready to socialize and all of that. Why be ready to socialize? Why not know, like for sure know that these statistics of this COVID-19 has went all the way down. Like it went so down, so low where there's none. 
then go out and socialize. But why not know that first? You guys know that this virus is still out there and people are, there's still new cases daily. There's still new cases. There's still people out there who are dying of COVID-19. There's people out there who are just getting it. And there's people out there who don't even care and they're just spreading spreading these, the virus to their friends, to their families and all that. I can't stress to you anymore. We have to be safe. We have to wear our masks. Even me, I have businesses that I have to take care of. I go to the bank at times. I go to the grocery store and to the post office, those three places bank, grocery store, and post office. And I make sure I have my mask on, but pray that, I, you know, that I don't get it. But it's scary just to go to those three places for me. I'm terrified, you know, I, it's so terrifying, you know, just to, just to go out. It can be terrifying because you just never know. And just to see all these people crowded together, like, so close together just to hear the governor of new york say that he had new cases of 900 people with a coronavirus it is frightening it's still high it's still out there so what are you guys thinking people i just don't understand like why are you going out why 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 not wait until this whole thing you know, and I know, I know, I know. You wanna work, you wanna get back to work, you wanna have money coming in. But to tell you the truth, I just do not think Congress is thinking about, maybe some people are in Congress. There are some good people that's in Congress thinking about you folks, but there's people like the president who does not care if you get this virus or not to even suggest to open up these states. And I'm hearing that this virus can last almost a year or two longer. I mean, why take a risk? I mean, we need help. Yes, we need the medication and all of that to get rid of this virus. But we also need to support each other in order to stay safe away from other people so that we will not give it to other people. Who knows? We, you don't know if you have it or not. Like, you just don't know. So, I mean, we do need to get testing. Uh, we do need to get tested and all that kind of stuff. But I just feel like, oh my gosh, I just cannot believe that people are out there protesting. People are out there doing the things that they're doing and not even caring if, they're, if they even contract the virus. Like, you have kids too like there's parents who are out there protesting like aren't you concerned to take it home to your own kids like what if you get it what if you just don't know and just because you don't have it doesn't mean it can't happen to you because it has happened to people who they never thought would happen to them so gosh guys i just came on here to say please be safe out there stop the protesting Please just stop, just stop, practice social distancing, wear your mask and be safe. Just be safe, be careful. It's better than to be safe than sorry, than to go out there and just be a statistic. So I just wanted to come on and try to give some encouragement. I don't know if that helped because a lot of these people are not even listening to their own governors and they're going out you know, crowding up the beaches and everything, and that was not approved. So who am I? But hey, I can come on here, try to give encouragement, and that's what I'm doing. So bye guys, I want you guys to stay safe out there. This is Virginia Wiggins, bye.